Welcome back. Due to technical uh, challenges, we will not be able to take the second segment. We're going straight now to today's throwback. How Ibi Pedro became Pedro and the reported Charlie Boy cancellation. The famous Charlie Boy bus stop was reportedly reverted to its presumed original name of Second Pedro by the Baale, that is the Yoruba traditional chieftain of Bagada, who was quoted as having said that the readoption of the former name was to prevent Charlie Boy claiming he founded the area. I guess in the backdrop of the recent outlandish claims of the Oba of Benin that his phobias founded Lagos and the braggadocious assertion of the venerable chief Umayahu, the president general of Ohane Zendi Igbo, Igbo's highest global sociocultural group, that Lagos was a swamp until the quote unquote Igbo's developed it to what it is today. The Bale thought it fit to order the removal of Charlie Boy's name as the name that the area is continued to be called. However, the inherent historical irony of the so-called reversion of names is that Pedro is in itself a gross bastardization of the original nomenclature of the area. Ibi Ipedeoro, Ibi Pedeoro, colloquialized to Pedro, was it was it pre-distortioned nomenclature? It was actually colloquially called Pedro, Pedro. In pre-colonial and colonial Lagos, before the federal government's 1962 acquisition of the vast swaths of land where University of Lagos is presently situated, and the relocation of the 30-something villages located originally there, including a particular littoral village called Agegeodo, the dreaded exclusively male aboriginals dramatized Yoruba deity Oro, used to be ushered from near the Unilag Lagoon after it must have been rever after it must have reverberated its unique switching or wearing sounding contraption to the area now known as Pedro, due to the blatant mangling of the local linguistic appellation Ibikwede Oro, the rendezvous of Oro deity and its adherents has not only been anglicized, even the totem of the deity and the new place of convergence of the Oro worshippers in now is now in Agbole Pedro in Pedro's compound in Bariga. Language can be very dynamic and etymologically funny, particularly in a place like Lagos where the Ife come Aboriginal K2, not this K2, the K2 and Ajashe now in Benin Republic and Togo, a worry Benin from whence every Yoruba settlement with Ado or Idu as in Idumota, Idumago, in its name is currently linked. Ilache Ijo Moin, indeed, one of the official titles or Oriki of the Oniru of Iru land in Victoria Island, Lagos, is Oniru Oba Moin, which expressly tells us that the rulers of Iru land are ancestrally Ilajes, the Jebus, the Eguns of Akpa, the owners of Badagri, and the infamous Yoruba slave trading port of Kwadai, now in today's Benin Republic. The Portuguese, the Germans, from which the now famous locale of Lekki, a colloquialization of the 1800s German Lekki salt comes slave trader's name, whose former house is now a museum in the area, took its name. And the eponymous British cultures have missed for about, about half a millennium of 500 years. It is just natural in a place like Lagos that the original names of places over time must have been bastardized. I am Bola Oba.